No, 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 no. He went off to college, but he gave us to Bonnie. Oh, she you have a Bonnie. little girl? No way. Yeah, yeah. It's why I'm out here. One of Pixar's most popular franchises, Toy Story, has recently announced a fifth film. To prepare fans for the next adventure for Woody and Buzz, Pixar has released brief teasers, posters, and a synopsis explaining the story. Supposedly, Toy Story 5 will follow the technology uprising, mimicking the real-life phenomenon of modern children abandoning their toys in favor of tablets and cell phones. In the poster for the film, Bonnie hides beneath a blanket while playing on a tablet, and her toys watch from the foot of her bed. It's a sad night as the toys may be forgotten or rehomed sooner than they'd like. However, fans have noticed something peculiar in the poster, the inclusion of Woody, who, at the end of Toy Story 4, leaves his life with Bonnie behind to stay with his lost love, Bo Peep. Naturally, fans want to know whether Woody has returned to his former home or not. And in today's video, we'll consider the possibility that the Woody in the poster isn't the same one from the previous four films. To infinity and beyond. The recent poster's questionable continuity is caused by the events of Toy Story 4 and what Woody chooses to do with his life after Andy bases him down to become Bonnie's next toy. The fourth film follows Woody struggling to adapt to his new life with Bonnie as she has little interest in playing with him and his role as the former leader of Andy's toys is no longer necessary. He preoccupies himself with trying to protect Forky, a toy that Bonnie created with arts and crafts during her kindergarten orientation. As Woody no longer acts as the primary and beloved toy in his child's household, he changes his focus to protecting and preserving Forky, who quickly becomes Bonnie's favorite toy. When Bonnie's family embarks on a road trip, Forky and Woody jump out of the RV. As they go to the park, Woody helps Forky realize that he belongs with Bonnie, and Forky overcomes his existential crisis. Along the way, they spot Bo Peep's lamp in an antique store and decide to look for her. Woody and Bo Peep have a history together and an established romance that was cut short when Bo and her lamp were donated years before. Inside the store, they encounter Gabby Gabby, a talking doll, and her ventriloquist dummy friends who attempt to take Woody's voice box to fix Gabby's broken one. Although Woody manages to escape, Gabby captures Forky. After his escape, Woody reunites with Bo and her sheep, who are now lost toys. Free from their owners and living independently, along with their new friend Giggle McDimples, they agree to assist Woody in rescuing Forky. Woody and Bo are eventually joined by Buzz Lightyear, who has set out in search of Woody and made his new friends along the way. The two groups join forces to rescue Forky, although he has a confrontation with Bo and Buzz when the other toys hesitate to risk their lives in the antique store. Forky is inevitably rescued, while Gabby is convinced to find a new home with Bonnie. However, while heading to Bonnie's house, she sees and comforts a lost child waiting for their parents and chooses to go home with them instead. With every crisis averted, Woody chooses between returning to Bonnie or living with Bo, someone he truly loves. What is a merry-go-round? The, the spinny ride with lights and, and horses. Oh, you mean a carousel? Yes, yeah, a carousel. Knowing how much Woody had struggled to adapt to their new life, Buzz encourages his old friend to return to the circus and start a new chapter in his life. Woody agrees, saying a heartfelt goodbye to his friends, passing his sheriff badge to Jesse and returning to Bo Peep. At the film's end, Woody and his fellow Lost Toys travel with the carnival, spending their days helping the carnival prizes find new homes. Woody's decision to stay with Bo and travel with the Lost Toys means he can't be with Bonnie during Toy Story 5. While Buzz and his old friends may reach out to him for help sometime during the future, the story would have to occur whenever the carnival comes back to town, which is usually an annual affair and only happens once a year. With such a specific limitation, it's unlikely that the original Woody would be available to help his friends overcome the new technological threat. Yet the appearance of Woody in the promotional poster can easily be explained if we consider the possibility that Bonnie missed her Lost Toys toy, which she lost during her family's road trip and ended up receiving a replacement. While Woody felt like he didn't play a prominent role in Bonnie's life, it's possible that she cared a great deal for him and was devastated when he went missing. Since the new film revolves around the rise and relevance of technology, it would tie nicely into the story if Bonnie's mother went on the hunt for a replacement. However, since he's an older toy connected to an old television series, he's not something she could find in stores, meaning she would need to rely on online sellers and collectors to find another Woody. Coincidentally, Toy Story 2 already introduced a collector into the franchise who specialized in collecting and restoring memorabilia from the puppet show Woody's Roundup. Does this mean Woody's a lost toy? He's not lost. Not anymore. 
Al McWiggin is the main antagonist, a toy collector driven by his desire for profit. Unlike the previous antagonist, Sid, Al doesn't mistreat the toys he acquires. Instead, he sells them for a higher price once he completes his collections. He is solely focused on material wealth and is willing to go to extreme lengths to achieve it, showcasing his cunning in his line of business. This is evident in his actions, such as when he steals Woody despite Andy's mom informing him that Woody is not for sale. Al's determination leads him to create a diversion, ultimately making off with Woody. After restoring and repairing Woody, he brings him home to meet other toys from Woody's roundup, including including Jesse and Bullseye. However, the toys escape from Al and return to Andy by the film's end, foiling his plans and forcing him to restart his collection. Years later, he could plan to sell Woody and his fellow toys again, albeit different versions from the ones he had before. Bonnie's mom may find Al's information online and contact him about buying another Woody as a gift for her daughter. She could also see a new collector willing to sell Woody without the complete set of his fellow toys. Regardless, the new doll brought home would allow Bonnie to reunite with her beloved toy while allowing a new version of the franchise's beloved protagonist to take center stage. The other toys, especially the former Woody's closest friends like Buzz and Jesse, would likely welcome the new version of Woody with open arms. Unfortunately, conflict may arise once they realize that this new Woody has a different personality from their old friend, resulting in him having unique opinions, motivations, and desires. It's possible he liked being treated as a collector's belonging, kept high up on the shelf where he was never misused or harmed. If he dislikes being a child's toy, Buzz and the others may need to convince him to stay with Bonnie, proving she's worth waiting for. What's happening down there? What's he doing? I can't watch. Can someone cover my eyes? Oh, no, he's stealing Woody. What? Stealing. He can't take the original Woody also had a relationship with Bo Peep long before he left Andy and never showed romantic interest in another character. Despite this, many Toy Story fans believe he would end up with Jesse because the pair came from the same television series and toy line. Yet their suspicions were disproved when Buzz and Jesse started a romance during Toy Story 3, subverting everyone's expectations. The new Woody could create a subplot in the film, following a love triangle between himself, Buzz, and Jesse, possibly putting a wedge in the couple's relationship. It's unlikely that Bonnie would want to give up her new Woody, and she would be unaware of the trouble he causes among the other toys. Inevitably, the only peaceful solution would be for Woody and the other toys to find common ground and figure out where he fits within their pre-established dynamics. All right, this isn't so bad. We just can't be seen by the dummies. Not just the dummies. The upcoming Toy Story 5 has sparked curiosity and speculation among fans. Many didn't expect the franchise to continue after Woody retired from being a child's toy, and his inclusion in the next film will set back his personal journey and character development. His inclusion in the promotional materials has raised questions about the storyline and his journey, as it wouldn't make sense for him to return to Bonnie's home after choosing to leave. As we eagerly anticipate the release of the film and the answers it could provide for this mystery, we're left to wonder about including an entirely new Woody with a different personality and motivations than the one fans of Toy Story have come to love. <gasps> We've gotta get Forky now! Woody, don't! Stick to the plan. Time for follow me. Roger that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. Subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications to stay updated on our uploads. All right, nice job, gang. Every prize with a kid. What's next? Leave that to us. We know exactly what to do. Mm -hmm.